Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about an example uh, case study where you can actually increase revenue uh, through process improvement. So I had a local client that um, had, they were a manufacturer and they had some opportunity within their uh, sales admin support uh, team. They were complaining that um, they just didn't have enough time to call back new clients, uh, existing clients with issues or orders um, and, and other troubleshooting uh, and sales opportunities, either saving business, um, maintaining business or growing business. So uh, I started working with one of the admins, just kind of looking over her shoulder, asking some questions uh, about what she did day to day um, and having her show me what some of her processes were. And as I was talking to her and she was telling me what she was doing, taking notes, uh, I started to notice the other admins getting up and walking out of the room every couple of minutes. Somebody was getting up and leaving the room uh, for a few minutes and then coming back uh, a few minutes later. And after you know six or eight of these happened, um, I asked the admin that I was working with, like, wh where's everybody going? And she said that uh, everybody was going to the copier. And I asked, why are they going to the copier? You know, uh, well, we have to print everything out. Uh, everything we do is by hand. And we print things out, we write things down, hand them physically over from one department to the next. And it's a pretty manual process. Well, that was a, a kind of a flag there for an opportunity um, to potentially digitize. But um, I asked how often that happened. And she said, well, it happens every day. And I said, well, how often does it happen every day? Like, what's the frequency of this? And she said, it's happening, you know, probably every 20, 30 minutes, sometimes maybe an hour uh, will go by, but pretty much all day long, they're, they're going to the printer uh, to pick up these papers. And I said, okay, well, where's the printer? And she said, well, it's, it's on the other side of the room or the other side of the building, actually. Um, I said, okay, well, how far away is that? And because uh, I, I kind of lost my orientation. She's like, well, we're on one end of the building and it's all the way on the other end of the building. Okay, so um, so this was an easy one. I said, well, why don't we just move the copier in here? Uh, and they said, well, that's a really good idea. Let's, let's do that. And well, I did the math on how frequently they were getting up, um, taking the time to go over there, get back to their desk, get resituated, refocused. Uh, and, and getting back to work. And as it turns out, uh, just by moving the copier from that other room into the corral where the, all the salesmen admins were, we saved every single admin an hour of their time. Well, an hour of their time they could now use to call back those uh, current customers or uh, future customers, potential clients uh, that were calling for inquiries. Um, so they were able to actually increase their revenue significantly um, by getting an hour of their time back every single day. Uh, so they were looking at, you know, either losing business or potentially hiring more people and spending money. Um, so this is a way that um, through process improvement, um, you can increase your revenue and potentially decrease your need for additional uh, labor. Uh, my goal is never to reduce labor, uh, to get rid of people. It's to reallocate to other opportunities. Um, so there's always opportunities within companies. And, you know, if you could, if you're sitting there saying, well, geez, I mean, move the copier. I, I know how to move the copier. Um, well, everybody does. And that's something that they probably all would have said as well, but it was done that way for however many years, maybe maybe decades, um, and no one else thought to do that. So um, the example I give there is, you know, we all have cell phones these days, right? And we all take the phone out of, the, out of our pocket. We do something for a few seconds, minutes, or, you know, an hour or more on our phone. We put it back in our pocket, and, and then we wonder, what time is it? Um, and that screen had the time on it the whole time we were staring at it, but we still have to pull it out of our pocket again anyway and look at it. And that's how those kind of things like the copier situation get overlooked. 
And that's the kind of opportunities that my company can uncover for you. Um, we're, we're all busy with our day-to-day -day responsibilities, pressures, um, stresses. Uh, maybe we don't have the experience, the skill set to see certain things, um, or we just have different priorities that, that are keeping our attention and our time. So we don't have the time to, to do those kind of things. So that's, that's where we can help out. Um, so something as simple and kind of in your face as, as that sort of example, uh, it, it's extremely common for that to be overlooked. Um, and it can cost the company tremendous amounts of money uh, and be, you know, clamping down on a, on a huge opportunity that's just waiting to be released. And those are the kinds of things we can help with. So if you have questions about this or any other uh, potential opportunities, uh, go ahead and um, leave a comment in the description or you can get a hold of me on uh, LinkedIn. My email is josh at rockwellprocessconsulting.com. I'll leave all that in the description on how to get a hold of me. Um, and uh, Go ahead and hit the like button if, if you think this was helpful. Uh, I'd appreciate a subscription if you think I've earned it. And I'll uh, look forward to the next one.